I just picked up the Max Lens Mod for the GoPro Hero 9, and today Sean and I are here at the Newark Skate Park, and we're gonna test it out. We're both gonna do one trick with the Max Lens and one trick without it. We're gonna compare the footage and see which one looks better. By the end of the video, you're gonna have an idea of whether or not you wanna pick up a Max Lens Mod for yourself. So first clip on the standard GoPro Hero 9 lens, right here. Sean's gonna swap the lens out for you so you can kind of get an idea how much wider this lens actually is. Super view. And now we're wider. All right, let's try that line again with the Max Lens Mod. from the future. After watching these clips back, it's actually a little difficult to tell the difference between the standard lens and the max lens. So I'm going to queue up a parktage of using only the max lens mod. Then after I'll show you guys a few side-by-side -side comparisons so you can actually get an idea of which lens looks better. <laughs> California. Yeah. That was a killer session at Newark Park with all the homies, but we actually got a few other clips that you haven't seen yet. I'm about to put up a few side-by-side -side comparisons of the same trick filmed at the same angle, one with the standard lens and one with the max lens. Let's check out the first clip. clearly see the max lens mod definitely has a wider field of view. You can see more of the rail on the left and more of the quarter pipe on the right and you can also see more of my body rather than just my feet. In my opinion the max lens definitely looks better in this clip but let's check out another one.
Now the reason I said it was a little tricky to tell the difference is because on this clip, the standard lens actually looks wider at first. Now that's because I was standing a little further back when I was using the standard lens opposed to the max lens. By the time Sean gets to the end of the manual pad, you can definitely tell that the max lens is wider. Let's watch one more manual clip and we'll see if we can't spot the difference. Now, unless you're getting really up in the skater's business, I feel like the lenses do look very similar. Now, I'm not sure if it was just the lighting, but the max lens actually looked a lot clearer in that last clip. Let's check one more trick that was actually filmed stationary so we can really tell the difference. While the standard lens cut my head off for most of it, the max lens mod captured my entire body throughout the whole shot. Nobody likes it when you watch a clip back and your head's cut off, so the max lens mod definitely helps with that. Even though the clips look similar, when it comes to skateboarding, a wider angle is always going to make your shots look better. There are a couple other features this lens offers, and one of which is the horizon lock. With horizon lock on, you can actually spin your camera in a full 360, and it won't even look like it's spun at all. The next feature is for all you time-lapse fanatics, and that is the Max Time Warp 3. This is essentially a smoother time lapse compared to the standard lens. In order to test this one out, I mounted my camera up on my dashboard and took a little drive. Honestly, after watching these back, they look pretty much the same. Instead, I'll just queue up a cool time lapse I got when I was in Tahoe with the Max Lens bot. Is it worth it to buy one of these for $100 or $80 if you have the GoPro subscription? Honestly, with all the new features, I think it is worth the price tag. If you're a content creator that shoots on GoPro, I think this lens will 100% spice up your videos. Now, one last thing that I was not able to test is how durable is this lens? Now, being a skateboarder, my camera gets hit by boards pretty much every session. I think it's been hit about 20 times since I got the Hero 9. With that being said, I have not actually hit the Max Lens Mod directly just yet, so I'm really hoping it's just as durable. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I need to make some more wax. If you didn't know already, we make the slickest homemade skate wax on the market, and it's available now at skateintel.com. So if you like to grind or slide, head over to the website, pick some up. It supports the channel, and if you haven't tried it yet, I know you're gonna love it. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all next week with some more Intel. Later. Getting up in the skater's business, I feel like the clips, ah, fuck you light. Ugh. Gotta hate motion sensors, right? Being a skateboarder, my camera gets hits, it hits, fuck, it hit, fuck! <laughs> oh, I suck. Camera get hit, oh my god, I can't talk. Camera gets hit by boards pretty much every session.